and welcome back to our finale of Age of Wonders 4. We are cruising through our Draco Lich campaign. I believe we're in the last 15 turns today for a magic victory. We have recently, I'm just remembering what that battle was, and that was a battle of our vassal here. Uh, so we are queuing up for the Age of Victory spells that get cast in three turns, Age of Shadow, at which point we have to defend our two locations for 15 turns. One of which is down here, the Verdant Vivarium. The other is over here, the Altar of Elements, both of which are bound to us right now. We've got most of our... We got one of our big armies up here trying to kind of distract Boulder and make a push on Boulder. And then the other guys are hanging out down here on the Verdant Vivarium itself, protecting it. Uh, but recently we have also just lost Halcyon to... You know what? I thought this was a threatening army and I'm realizing it's not really. It's basically three 800 stacks of mostly tier one to three units. So that's not too bad. It is a threat, but it's not a horrible threat. So I have no doubt that we ended on an end turn. How are these guys? You're at 13, you're at 11. I'm just going to move you here so you can heal. Bone Daddy is coming down to join in with them. And it looks like I lost somebody out of here. A dragon. Absolutely, I lost one of my dragons. This guy's army is also kind of a bit of a weird mess. Uh, I've been trying to rebuild some of my armies so that they're a bit more divvied up. And we're not just like power stacking everything into one army like I currently am here. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is probably putting one of this guy's dragons in here and then giving him a corrupted shade. But we started on an intern. Ended on an intern. Let's start on an intern. Necro Smith of the Necro Dancer. You know, Necrodancer is, is another one of those games that I just ended up sleeping on. But that looks so fun. Just seems like a foolish good time. I'm, I'm mostly curious what this huge blob of troops does. The moment I cast this spell, Age of Shadow, every single character on the map is going to war deck me. And they're all going to race towards my points. He's fleeing, but going underground. Ah, yes, this was the other thing. He is sailing small armies across from his capital at Geyser Rock. We've unlocked the last signature skill on Banaroth the Soother. Now. Would you rather mana unchained or dark ritual? I'm going to give you dark ritual, I think. That does so little damage. I'm going to give you mana unchained. You're my support hero. Let's keep you casting support spells. I like that vibe. We've got a necrotic tower down here. We're just going to purchase merchandise. You guys are in the void. Breaking Alliance. Deep Lair and Summerdale have both sent us parties, attack parties. 
Bone Daddy is in charge of the Bone Golem army. You're at 14. You're at 11. Okay. We got to do a little healing here. And these guys, I think, just need a dragon. I think I have to be kind and divvy up my army a little bit. Just a smidge, though. Now, these guys, we can throw one in there and I think one in here. I guess I can see that nothing is coming in from the north. What worries me is like this guy can come on land in one turn and reach the vivid, verdant vivarium. So I'm just going to probably chill. What I should do is I should pick up faster movement on roads for 175 Imperium. Because that would help me like sneak around this location a little bit quicker. You're healing. You're healing. We're ending turn. I mean, we could move in the attack on Boulder. Part of my worry is I'm going to need an army here at, at the Verdant Vivarium, and then I'm going to need an army like attacking Halcyon. I have to stop on an end turn if I enter and then I have to keep playing. That's exactly it, right? It's the only way I can break. <laughs> it's the only way to break the cycle. He is building up an army right now. Part of me wonders. He's in the void. I was just thinking like if I could peace out with him. I could theoretically unpeace out with him after. Or like he wouldn't be able to go immediately to war with me. That's what I'm trying to say. These guys have moved back. Skullkeep has a beacon of valor. Sure, why not? Charred Spire. Great question. A spell jammer would certainly prove useful. Most of these are only siege related. Boom, boom, boom. Bow, bow. Uh, ooh, I see what's happening. He pulled all those troops underground and he's attacking from here. I see you, you little sneaker you little sneaky boy what else was I thinking there a soul well I don't see why not let's just spell jam this uh all right so this is a much bigger threat that means This guy really likes me. Right, right, but I don't want to... <laughs> I forgot that I can't do alliances with anybody because I'm trying to keep myself hidden. Yeah, he's building up an army here too. Hep, 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 hep. Spelljammer. 
That's my favorite D&D module. <laughs> it's a very good one. It's a very, very good module. 17, 12, 11. All right, boys. Hold the line. Oh, I forgot. I'm making a spell ward. That's what I was going to put there. I don't actually need to spell jam this. I can build the better spell jammer. Replace with firm. Why could I only build a hut there beforehand? That seems strange. Uh, all right, this is starting to actually look kind of bad. Because he's not bringing like one army down here. He's bringing like three armies down here. Battlefield reanimation. All friendly undead come back to life with 50% of their HP. Non-undead corpses come back to life as decaying zombies. That sounds pretty good. All non-hero corpses on the map are destroyed. No, let's take battlefield reanimation. Freaking wild crest. Okay, so this guy actually just came back. All right, so here's the thing. If I sign this and then cast the Age of Shadows, I think it means he can't declare war on me for 10 turns. Oh, no, he'll get a severe alignment penalty if he declares war on me. It is going to push me away from super evil, but I don't think that really matters. This is a good sneaky play. We've got a tranquility pool. Researching spells cost less mana. War has ended, war has ended, war has ended. A whispering stone has returned from Dusk Vault, Supreme Vassalage. Uh, so we were trading money for knowledge here for a very long time, but I actually don't feel like we need to do that anymore. Are there any free cities on the map that we don't have? What happened here? Oh, right. I forgot. They they attacked and, and, and stole Pitchback from me. Damn. player is a pretty sneaky one I can't actually like get any of these places so how does this work with the the, the whispering stones to gain their tribute so the real question I have is like Who has something I value? These guys are 20, 20, 27. Okay, those guys are worth a lot. Those guys are worth a ton. Eos. These guys are worth an insane amount with Fallstar. All right, well, we're probably going to go with them then. 72, 73, 65. That's wild. That's a huge vassal income. Oh, you know why? Because Fallstar is spirit. I think so he gets modified 50% income which means I just get that as well. 
That's so sneaky. I didn't know shadow guys could do it like that. You want a wizard's bond, I'm afraid. That won't be happening. All right. Are we ready to get shadowy? Here we go. You are not worthy of channeling the powers of the ancient wonders, Draco Lich Charon, hoarder of bones. You must be stopped. You cast the final spell for the victory. Ooh, everything is so bougie and purple now. So what is fun is I probably cast him into very evil. I did. It's not so fun is I have a very short amount of time to survive. I actually might need to make some stuff. A necromancer at least for that second army. And for that other army as well would be smart. I'm going to rally a kings for next turn. Oh, now let's see what happens here. War between all other rulers has ended. One of my whispering stones has returned. I guess I can't. Shining Court, Vassal City. Oh yeah, I forgot that we just like got these guys. There's another altar of stars right there. <gasps> That's a really interesting location because it's surrounded by lava, which means the only entrance is actually through that location. But the computer's being pretty clever in attacking me via the sea roots. Thus begins the age of shadow. Newton, take it easy, dude. We'll see you later. We'll probably be checking out some millennia later today, depending on how long it takes for us to defend 15 turns. Sometimes 15 turns is so many turns. Boy, you managed to get a lot more troops on land than I thought you would in a single round. Curious. Probably should have auto-resolved that. The great news is that I have a thousand mana going into these final fights. And I have very powerful spells. All right, what are we up against? We're up against a lot of entwined protectors. These druids of the cycle have got to go because they're the guys who auto kill people, including dragons. couple of heroes. I mean, I definitely outpower them. In terms of just like sheer quality of troops. Egg. Death call. Put a necro on that side. Uh, this is my heavy duty caster. Who has really high range. And can summon undead as well. Mm -hmm. 
Banshee, Necro. Uh. All right. Strengthen the Reapers and the big dragons. Oh, I guess I could have strengthened this pike unit as well. Would have been really good. Avel. And then everybody else is staying put for the round. Uh, we also get Fog of Insanity, which I forgot about. And every turn, a random corpse is reanimated as a decaying zombie until the end of combat because of Age of Shadow. Yes, go insane and attack each other. <laughs> They're wasting turns removing insanity. Uh, which is really quite funny because it doesn't actually like it just goes away anyway next turn. This guy suicide dives in against uh, a corrupted soul. You gotta love that. I mean, oh, this is only non heroes? Yeah. I was like, can we just curse the Reaper him? So many units, 4% chance. You see, sanity is actually their mana bar, so they have to. The insanity stuff does seem to work in a very strange way sometimes. Uh, I'm going to tail swipe this dude because he has two retaliation attacks and now he has none. That feels like that's working pretty effectively. Cannot be affected. Oh, he doesn't have low morale yet. Uh, I mean, I could just like, I should have hit him with a Sundering Curse. If I had done that first, he would be dead. Fool of a toque. I'm trying to avoid just like open flanking my line too badly. All right, he's got insanity. He's got bleeding. Each turn stacks up to five times, decaying. I just don't really want him to hit anybody. Was this the summon corrupted soul? Yeah, that's a summon. He makes a fine sacrifice. Um, he shouldn't come back to life because he's not like a player or he is. A, he is a player, I should say. Non-hero unit resurrection. Okay. Running explosion, ice shackles. My biggest thing is like um, combat casting points. I could land a pretty good soul overflow. I, I just don't know that it's necessary at this point. I 
could chain lightning. We could sunder. I could just hit these guys with like a vision of woe. Uh, to be honest, I think that's what I'll do. That is going to hit him. All right, whatever. The blight damage is so good against plants. You can summon an undead. Self charged, probably. Banshee's battle mages, but they're like frontline battle mages, so don't really mind like using them to threaten the line a little bit. You got a full charge in. You got a full charge in. Let's hold. Let's see how insanity works for them. A lot of my units have a weakening aura that like kills morale as well. Ooh. Tasty. That is an awakener. That is a huge threat. Massive spirit damage AOE. Thank you for the hydro check. HD2, there's room for four factions. What is HD2? Can't wait to get to the orcs. Loves a good orc. Loves a good crumpin. Are you joking? Are you joking? They fingered of death. 16% chance I rolled a 14. Unbelievable. Twice they have cast that on my dragons and twice it has succeeded. And the likelihood of it happening is so incredibly low. I'm rattled. Absolutely rattled. Do you like Bojangles Bowberry biscuits? I haven't, haven't tried them. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Helldivers too, and I was like, wow, that's a quick turnaround. Can't wait to see a railgun strike on a quit. Oh. I don't know that we're going to get railgun strikes on quigs, squigs, but I guess we don't really know what the last faction is in Helldivers. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try this. Curse the Reap. Yes. Thank you, game. You can run down a Glade Runner. This sacrificial guy can move forward. I can't believe that. I can't believe it nuked a dragon again. I'm hesitant to put my Reaper out here because I kind of feel like I need him against this squad because I'm obviously losing this line right now.
Can't you scream? go here I'm flanked but against what shield units I have to kill that the worst thing is is it doesn't even leave a corpse Frustrado. That Awakener scares me, so I'd like to move on him right away. Bring that gargoyle back up. Um, wow, and I can't believe it, but I think the Reaper is just going to go over here. I am immobilized. All right. Yikes. Yikes. Just going to say they're releasing a cookie version soon of Bojangles, Bowberry cookies. Wow. What kind of cookies are they? What kind of biscuits are they? Very low morale. That's nice to see. Could I perhaps take advantage of that somehow with like a rotting explosion? No. I would need the corpse first. You are very debuffed. You know what? I'm at a soul overflow. This also gives him evasion. Parting gifts. All right, let's see what insanity does for me this time. Just got rocked. Gargoyles respawn. My bone guy dominated. My other bone guy dead. My dragon's getting killed. Uh, this is not a fight to be losing people in. This is kind of problematic. A random corpse is reanimated as a decaying zombie. So if I lose a character, such as this dragon, I might not be able to get it back. Because it might automatically reanimate. Finger of death. Why can't you work for me? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it.
I'll take that. Because then I can do that. Which gives me killing momentum, which allows me to about face. Or. I can either have the guy like hold the line here. Or I could have him rush this nymph in the back. To be honest, I think I'm going to rush that nymph. Because currently, that nymph is controlling my bone horror. Just causing me some issues. Ay, 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 ay. You're a decaying zombie. Uh, this necromancer better move up to try and save that dragon next turn. You're out of range of everybody. Stack some bleeding on that high mage. All right, well, this is a bit of a continued gong show. Uh, this Banshee is for sure dead. Oh, I wish I had that spell that reanimates everybody. I can actually cast that on him, but he's currently my front line, so I don't think that's a good idea. Is there anything I have that can heal? Max 20 HP. Resurrects with 100% of its total HP if undead. Greater reanimation. Okay. So I can cast that on the dragon next turn. That might decay him. God, you really don't have anything here. Uh, I'm going to move Bone Daddy up and I'm going to use Death Call. I'm going to hurt in this line here. And then drop Misfortune on him. Okay. Well, every one of these options is death for you, Banshee. So... We'll just take your shots where we can. Kills me when I see a charger. The railgun is switched to a scavenger and just obliterate him. It's nine chicken nuggets. They were so spicy. Your mouth is hell right now. Flavorless chicken nuggets, just like regular chicken nuggets. Spicy. Or were you dipping them in something delicious? <gasps> Yay, the Awakener went insane. As did some of these guys. 
blueberry biscuits with a glaze over them. I'm not sure if the cookies will have the glaze or not. Oh, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty, pretty tasty. Just got this game. I find it weird how they've made having several different cities so difficult. You can automate them. Or do you just mean like difficult to get multiple cities? I guess my big question is, what do you find about it that's difficult so I can give you my advice for how to help it? Chicken nuggets, yeah. Uh, difficult to get, yeah. Um, there's definitely like pushing for early outposts is pretty important to do. And depending on like your build, you don't necessarily need a lot of different cities. Like, I only made one other city in this campaign. And we are on the path to victory today. Assuming the rest of this all goes all right. All right, as long as this one doesn't resurrect. Nice. We're going to cast greater reanimation on this right away. Now my bow dragon is back. I'm going to reap you. Let's just attack you. I didn't realize this guy had so much spirit damage in his army. Which is a little tough to deal with. like to you to be on him we're gonna attack him with a dragon uh, I think I'm just gonna take the attack of opportunity here you guys can kill him I could probably nuke this decaying zombie now, but it's also just kind of working for me. Most of their units are starting to flee. That nymph is not, and I don't really want to have my bone golem taken out here. Uh, I'm going to strengthen these guys what is this corpse decaying zombie and a gargoyle a sundered curse then I'm gonna screw up my movement so that I can't properly banshees veil anybody Guess that. Honestly, probably just best taking fire shots here. You can move up. You're going to strengthen that dragon. I stuck stuck all right is there a way to turn off auto camera movement during combat yes there should be yeah I think they took that out in one of the um or modified that in one of the recent updates there's a lot of people were having trouble with um with how that works it's a lot of motion oh my bone dragon got rocked my bone dragon my bone horror Bone horrors are very replaceable, though, thankfully. He says with only 100 souls.
one nice thing that seems to be happening is the computer is really focusing on um my summons he gets really overwhelmed by all the undead corpses and doesn't know like who to prioritize You can kill him. Uh, you know what? These decaying zombies can probably just swarm this guy. Definitely want to make sure I kill the druid of the cycle. Trying to think if there's any. Already used this battle. Already used this battle. Clearly, I need more necromancers. Can you crushing anguish this guy? I bet you could. 88% chance. Instant kill. Out of range. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Mm, lightning? Why not? Give him a little zippy zaps. Oh, the computer has done a surprisingly good job at keeping out of range of my mages. This is just cleanup crew right now. Uh, and I guess the other question is, is like, are there any other characters I want to try to bring back? Is that bone horror still alive? Technically, yes. That kind of ends up costing me more souls. But, um... It keeps his levels, so... I think that's kind of worth it. It does give him like zero HP though. Rushing a second early hero helps get more outposts down. Yeah, especially because you don't need him like in an army. You can just kind of let him go off and do his thing. All right, I'm seeing the cool effect of the shadow Age of Shadow here, which is like all of these corpses now. actually blocking this character. He can't escape right now. Literally just walled in these two guys. That's so funny. I love it. Completely surrounded. I'll let this guy sneak away. Not paying enough attention. 
So that was like a hero. I'd, I'd love a way to see. Like corpses on the map, like highlight interactable objects. Did he get all the way out? I don't think he did. He dies from blight damage. This guy gets swarmed by zombs and then dragoned. Okay, so I lost the one dragon and I lost a bone horn. And my other dragon's at like zero HP. Could be better, could be worse. Seeing as he's probably going to attack me a second time there. Ah, actually he's not. He's going to give me a chance to heal. He is bringing in a bunch of other units though. Oh, the bone whores are 50. I thought they were 15. You hear the wheels of a wagon coming close. A tarp covering a large round object underneath. You realize it's a citizen of Duskfall. We traveled far and wide to bring you this as tribute, O Draco Lich. It's kept safe in a hidden shrine until a worthy dragon returned. A young fire dragon. Eat it and level up. That's impossible. I'm at max level. Duskfall gains allegiance and Duskfall gains a young fire dragon. Um, I will let them have a dragon. I don't really know that I need it. I did gain an insane... I gained two levels with Bone Daddy alone in that fight. Which is pretty great. I think Mana Unchained. We'll take... What do you have? Mostly magic. I might give you Soul Collector. Or I might give you Mind Crush. I'm going to give you Mind Crush. Alric also leveling up here. Uh, weirdly enough, I think I'm going to give him Fire Revoker at this point. And Shadow Biter. Physical and melee chance has a chance of 60% chance of inflicting disrupted. Unit enchantments are temporarily disabled. Yeah, let's grab that. Uh -huh. Sorry, two of them also picked up signature skills. Alaric picking up his level 16. These are the high, easily the highest level characters I've ever had. Uh, Alaric, you're the wizard. You also have Sundering Curse and Fire Evocation. I don't know that Virulent Outbreak is the right choice. I'm going to give him Mana Unchained. And somebody else also got one. 30% melee damage, but Sunder defense and resistances. I could also just pick up Draining Blade here, which is probably not a bad idea for a melee character. Everybody has declared war on us. A rally has started. I love that I can get blessed souls. We're going to do a massive rally to our throne city. Uh, we ended up collecting a bunch of stuff, but I don't imagine I'm going to want to get rid of any of it. Uh, 
The windshield ring is pretty good. It's pretty much all like tier one stuff though. We have been invaded in the river. And we've also been invaded over here by a small army. Now. Six, seven. Yeah, these guys are kind of a bit of a tough fight right now. It'd be really sick if I had had that spell ward up for those fights. I would have gotten hit with a lot less stuff. What's their biggest army here? Okay, this is three scouts, so I'm actually not worried about that. These both have druids of the cycle. Can I auto combat you? Three druids of the cycle. So gross. Yeah, I'm going to take that. And then we can just wipe this guy out. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm going to let you just collect that because I don't want a single stack open. God, they can still get really close to me. Uh, we've got a bunch more level ups. It's a little crazy how much we're leveling up. I'll give you Soul Collector. I'll give you Defense 3. I'll give you some sort of magic. Crater Corpse Consumption. Heck, why not? Uh, these dudes are clearly trying to make a sneak play here. And they're damn near succeeding at it. How can they move so fast? Oh, I guess he's nature, right? So nature has an ability that's like you gain a whole bunch of extra movement when you're inside your own terrain. But that's good to know that they're making a play directly for that altar of elements. You've been captured. Level two staff of animal summoning. Level two true sight ring. Trash, trash, trash. All right. You're right. Uh, let's pick up fast movement on roads. That'll help me run anybody down. It feels so bad to raise cities or just vassalize and have no control over them. I don't mind vassalizing cities and not having control over them because now there is like you can give like war coordination targets at least to your vassals. Which I argue makes a huge difference. Just wipe this guy off. He wouldn't be distracting me, would he? Target empty province that doesn't contain an ancient wonder. Oh. 
Oh, one, two, three, four. Oh my God. Wow. Look, I can actually do it here. So enemies can't cast spells in this and adjacent province. I didn't realize this, but it has to be a completely empty province. Enemy spells cost 100% combat casting points in this domain. They changed this. It used to be you couldn't cast at all, I think. All right. Well, this is still being upgraded to a spell jammer because I didn't actually abort it. Apparently. It's both building a firm and a spell jammer somehow. I'm just going to let it go. We've got battlefield reanimation. Siege projects. Target friendly. No longer gains food, but gains soul income. That would be huge because certain provinces such as Zaha Tur can't grow anymore. Uh, I'm sorry. What happened to this guy's army? <laughs> I'm sorry. Where did this guy's army just go? He had an army right here. It's completely vanished. I'm incredibly sussed out right now. We're going to just nuke this guy. Make our way back. Hope you're enjoying the game. Fairly new player. So much good. Yeah. Spelljammers used to be fully block casting and it was super impressive. Yes. Harvest population sounds friendly. This sounds like the nicest thing we could possibly do. Uh, this guy needs a necromancer. So I'm going to move you over this way I keep forgetting we have teleporters as well and we have like fast teleportation everybody is mass targeting me for everything now okay All undead in this domain now do 10% extra damage. I think I'm all right with that. Should give us a hand. Making sure that they don't have like world casting spells as well is also going to be really valuable. Oh yeah, here comes another crowd. Quick, revolt against our overlords. No, don't do that. They're keeping us safe. <laughs> Big adjustment to the previous games I've played. The fact that you have only a few cities, even in large maps. You can get much bigger depending on who you play as. Like nature allows you to spread pretty far and wide. Uh, if you play spirit... You can really focus on vassal gameplay. And I think that's like a weird thing that I've seen the computer doing a lot now that I'm realizing is a very good way to play is at a certain point, you want to just expand outwards and just create vassals. So like ideally you have your like five cities and then everything past that is vassal states. But you can make like an infinite amount of those vassal states. Uh, 
Uh, these dudes have not landed on the shores. Which means I can split them in half. My f issue is still I can't leave the Verdant Vivarium because it doesn't take any turns for them to burn it down. So I could attack them with 1700. Or I could wait and add another 13. You know what? I might as well just wait. It's stronger for me to wait. I'm currently losing 130 mana. I feel like that's just, just gone up dramatically. I also feel like Charon himself should probably be up here. Maybe I could swap him with Bone Daddy. All right, look, nobody is actually coming this turn, so I am going to move Charon right now. I forgot about that. When we go through a teleporter, we replenish all of our movement speed. Yeah. Which means it's really easy for us to move back and forth. I'm willing to lose a bone horde just not to fight this. participating in that fight. Okay. Oh, this is why my mana cost just increased like 160 points. Because I formed a massive new army to come and reinforce all my other homies. Uh, so I'm going to put the Living Fog in here. What else do I have? A dragon, two Banshees, and two Necros. You could take a Banshee and a dragon, probably. You could take a Banshee instead of a Bone Horror. I mean, you could take a Banshee. Actually, I might give you the Banshee. We'll see how we feel. Uh, that's all a waste of money. Dude, this dude's got another level up. Just gonna give him HP. Screw your last campaign by declaring it Unjust War and it's punishing. Yeah, Unjust Wars really cripple your Imperium, right? Increase city cap multiple times for Imperium if nobody mentioned that. Super expensive, but possible. Completely out of the question to go out of like seven to nine cities in longer games if you focus on it. Add up settlers, bunch of wonders, sit a long time, majorly justified wars. Yeah, you get a huge, if you're in a justified war, you get a massive Imperium boost as well. It's a lot of... <laughs> There's a lot of vassal states attacking me. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here. 
have to decide how you want to play yeah that's the thing right because like if you're going for you know an expansion victory oh jesus you don't necessarily need to have so many people focusing on like knowledge you know you don't need to tech up very hard Uh, what? What turn is this? Turn one ten. I didn't realize I was not standing on the wonder. There was one space off. I really don't like um, the way that works. So like technically you're not standing on the wonder there either. So let's make sure you're doing that. Uh, the fact that they just get it automatically and it cancels your spell. And I'm assuming drops you back down to 0 out of 15. I find is a little excessive. Wow, you know what I find a little excessive? Nine mythic units in a single fight. Is this even possible? Two golden golems as well. Dude, that's insane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ironclads in a single fight. I do not have the armies over here to hold this properly. I have one hero. Oh, man. Strengthen just gives you like flat damage, right? Yeah. Just so many ironclads, I'm really annoyed. <laughs> Skill level, we're playing on brutal. The hardest difficulty. Is the feast gonna be brutal then? Yeah. Oh my god, and he's like overcharging all of them too. They're all immune to insanity. Yep. They're all immune to insanity. Getting hard countered by golems again.
I'll definitely hard countered by it. They definitely can't get hit by Curse of the Reaper either, probably. All right, well. This is gonna be a rough toughie, boys. Shock resistance, status res seven. They're just going to barrage and like kill an entire chunk in one round. They're going to concentrate all their fire in one area and just kill everything. They're all out of range. Uh, 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 uh. I couldn't do much. Is that going to do any damage? A little bit. Mostly I'm doing it for the weakened stacks there. Uh, what are you? Zephyr, Afflictor, a Fury, and a Steel Shaper. I think I might hold a line here. Please, please, 19%, please. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to get shrapnel bombed so hard. We have learned in the past that ranged units are the only way to really get rid of these guys. Uh, static shield might not be a terrible option. Sixty-four for reanimation. I have one hundred and thirty. Here we go. At least some of these guys have gone insane. We can get them to give up by whining more. That's harsh. <laughs> I'm allowed to be sad. Oh, lava burst. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. There comes the blows. Here comes the barrages. Okay. 
try that again. Oh, I can't do anything. Ah. Good to know. Fumble. So I'm just going to get barraged again, right? Like that's 100% how this is going to work. <laughs> this is such a hard counter. Lava burst again. What a good faction. Uh, uh. All right. Well, I'm going to have to let them take that wonder. Uh, okay. I mean, I literally don't know if it's possible to beat these guys, so we're going to have to find out. Mm. Who can I bring up into this fight? You're all quite wounded at the moment. Uh, you know what, actually, let's do that. We'll put him in there. I'm going to give you a Banshee. You three out. You three in. Um... Corrupt soul. Okay. Dude, these units are awful. I thought the golden golem was bad. It barely even has any buffs on it. All right. If it's only the two of us, he didn't land the third army here for whatever reason. I'm taking that. I've got to take that. Did I not lose that dragon? Huh?
I'm a little confused, but... Okay. Necro, no lucky fire. More like no lucky um, massive shrapnel damage. More than anything else. I really don't like having to go back on that save. But uh, I'd be I'd be really up up the creek without it. I think so. Uh, you're going to grab Vicar the two. Uh -huh. You're going to grab. Grim Executioner. So, um, he's built a teleporter here. To know. Eighteen, twenty, eleven, fifteen. Pick these guys to switch armies, I think. much that's going to slow me down. Uh, I'm curious what resets here. Your vassal is under siege. Harvest population is going to be really useful. Uh, you know what? Let's just take Mark of Invulnerability there. And then... Frostlings. Visiting units gain ice touch until their next battle, inflicting their physical attacks at base 30% chance of inflicting frozen. Yeah, why not? Played a lot, haven't played in a few months though. Didn't know the game existed until like three weeks ago. High on it. It's a fantastic game. Yeah, absolutely. Superb expansion so far. I couldn't agree more. Oh, these spells are taking a long time to cast. Uh, okay, so you're going to go back this way. Everybody has a necro. Necro bones, necro bones, necro cup. This is kind of my like refill army. These armies are less good, but I don't think can get anything but a 1v3. I want to know what these... Uh, there's been two hostile armies here outside of Sky Totem for like 40 turns. 
And I often wonder why they're not sieging that province. Oh, man. Hard being on the defense here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. King's load. Blah, 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 blah. So be it. Uh, a prison guard. We could release them for money and knowledge, but it's not really worth it. All right, we're gonna bind that again. Costs 800 mana to cast the Age of Shadow. So this is definitely not a spell I wanna be frequently recasting. <laughs> You know, if I don't have to. Okay, that seems to be the good news. I can get back and forth with just them. Tier 3, Tier 2, Tier 1, Siege Damage. We'll try this again. <laughs> Baryon, hello. Good morning. Borg, hello. Bought the bundle. It was worth it. Yeah, I, I bought the bundle for this when it first came out. Because I was like, I have a really good feeling this is going to be a good game. And I am very happy that that has been the case. Keep an eye on what these guys do. Duskfall seems pretty, like, incapable of doing a lot. You know, I guess I could tell them to just defend Charred Spur. You guys are capable of annexing another province, but they can't actually do that. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Many turns away. I should harvest the population over here. Gold. Uh, we'll take this extra healing per turn in friendly territory. War party, war party, war party. see what makes it to us. Shocked these guys haven't grown more. Ah, Halcyon has actually grown over this entrance. Mm. 
That could run me some pretty bad risk. Why is it unbound in Age of Darkness? Uh, basically, we 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 got we got scammed by a bunch of by a bunch of ironclads by nine ironclads. Uh, I literally just loaded back one one turn. That was it. The option was uh, either lose a bunch of armies and lose the wonder, or lose the wonder and not lose a bunch of armies. So. The defenses of Dusk Vault they are concerned about. I've long been impressed by your feats of construction and asked for help. With rising tensions, I fear my city may not withstand a siege. Production blocked in Skull Keep for a turn and they get relations. Money. Go to war with them. No, I don't want that. That's fine. That's just fine. We're going to try this again. Ah, so I do have to survive a full 15. Oh, which is fair. understand where my other five units here are is it only like flying units can come with me what did I lose I lost a banshee right now rest rest at least we heal fast can't see his armies uh you know my big threat is is clearly this guy because he's the one who can come at me with uh, an insane amount of golden golems. <laughs> but our auto resolve still seems to be generally pretty good. So we are now eating the people of Zaha Tur. This gives us 40 souls a turn though, which is really nice. I'll be real with us. I think we could also eat Skull Keep. Actually, we can eat Chart Spar. And now I can start making Reapers like crazy. Because I'll have the upkeep for them. There's so many people coming down at us. Your vassal has been taken in Shining Court.
you guys reach a teleporter in one turn? Uh, I tell you what. I'm gonna have them block this entrance. Clearly, I got the ability that I can go cover either one of these, depending on which one is needed at any given time. So we might as well just make Charles Sprout our, like, main holding ground. We go watch Tokyo Vice. Mm, sounds fun. Work, take it easy. He cheated, but don't say it out loud. He'll get sad. <laughs> I mean, either way, we're still set back so many extra turns. Okay, all those guys just teleported again, it looks like. No teleporter at Pinnacle. Teleporter here. That's what he's doing. He's just porting all his units here and then rushing them across, probably. Uh, okay, I have some Reapers that are ready. You all have Reapers. You do not. I think I gotta wait a turn here. Do I want to frostling my characters? I guess I I guess I could. I'm really curious how far they can get in a single move from that teleporter. Cuz I bet it's pretty much all the way. They're still struggling to get tier four, five units outside of those druids of the cycle. Just one of the reasons we got to like cinch this victory fast. Spells can be cast on the first turn of combat. Can be nice. 20 combat casting and world map casting points also could be nice. Ooh, universal camouflage. Or 10 combat casting points per unit death. Yeah, all right. There's a couple of good things we could actually take there that might be valuable to us. Ah, uh, you're right. We're in full mana deficit. Uh, I can get rid of a lot of bone guys right here. And that'll probably free up 100 mana on its own. Here they come. Now, the good news... is with all of our necromancers, we can just take these. The bad news is I still have to do huge healing in between fights. Uh, all right, I don't think I'm in immediate threat here. So I could have these guys move across and fight them. I 
Take out that first. Yeah, I'll take this. I might lose Dragon here. It's fine. We have Reapers. Coming in on the regular now. Hey, Dust Vault. And we showed up with some Hermes. Spelljammer for sure is going to help me out a lot in this situation. That's a good trade. I actually don't even need to refresh. Because we have a bunch of them back here. Raise Undead Army. Marching Winter. I don't know that that's good for us because I don't think that cold is valuable. But I could flash freeze enemy provinces. You're already building something. You're ready to annex a little bit more. I guess let's just do that. We got a handful of level ups. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to get army upkeep reduction because that's going to start stacking really well at this point. You can take assassinate. Why not? Blinding magic for sure. We'll take on you. Yes, I know who this character is. <laughs> Defense. Uh, Bone Daddy, I'll also take Blinding Magic, and I will take Summon Undead. Captured a lot of extra heroes. I have a lot of people in the prison right now. I could just kill all these guys. And that would generate me more mana. That would also make me fully evil. Ah, uh, you know what? Throw them all in. I'm way more concerned about the mana right now. Uh, the other really nice side of this is I probably just got a ton of equipment. <laughs> Breastplate of the champion? That's a very good item. Uh, immune to flanking is not bad. Currently, you're using a tier two sword. You know what we should do? We should probably just break down a lot of this stuff. Two identically named books. 
put them on a grizzly bear instead for fun? Sure. Uh, you got some pretty good gear. You don't even have helmets right now. I was actually going to get this guy the flanking thing, but he's got a defiant helm, which is kind of better. Could I maybe want to make anti-construct claws for my dragon? Physical damage. Construct Slayer. Crit damage. Sunder defense. Weekend. I don't really know that these would be much better. Yo, further. How aged are our wonders? They're getting pretty aged. We're certainly getting up there. Storm Summoning Blightbringer. Like animal summoning, spider summoning. I don't need any of this stuff. All these horse mounts. All right, that's going to take four turns. Uh, I think I'm going to save up for this combat casting points bonus. Or universal camouflage. I'm just thinking if I have universal camouflage, it'll really screw with the computer's ability to determine who it's attacking and how much strength to send. If I cast unit enchantment and you have no valid targets in the army, does it still affect later when you get those units? Yes. Yeah. And it'll tell you like there's an increased upkeep cost on those units. Has anyone attempted a moral build? I was crafting one weekend and I haven't attempted it yet. Uh, we did uh, the Prophetess of the Rat God was like a, a spirit based vassal build. That was like a good character. I feel like Oh, or your oh morale damage. Uh, yes, actually. Um, what was he called? Todd Sunslaker. He was our other spirit character, and he was a spirit morale based character that was based on on just breaking breaking morale. Our Reaver build is probably going to be heavy based on breaking morale as well. Strength and blood, Dracolich. She acclaims with a raised fist. The weak fall on the battlefield. The frail are culled like vermin in their holes. We accursed Duragar adapt. Adopt our enemy's strengths and we triumph. Mark of the Butcher. Units of this race earn 50% experience in combat. Cities of this race lose two city stability for each population. Sure. <laughs> Why not? coming out with me with some rally a king armies up here uh it does seem like outside of these three ironclads he's chilled out a little bit on the ironclad front this guy's also bone dragon right let's give him back Okay. 
Grant Lee Kings in two turns. Could actually boost that. Let's boost that. Yeah, I'm still not even healed from the last attack. Even with enhanced healing. So many golems. Well, he's spell jammed. He's insane. It's Age of Shadow. Will Otto give it to me? I feel like no, not against golems. Against the kitty cat? Yes. Three ironclads and a golden. I think I can do better than that. <sighs> All right. Uh, let's think about this. The golden golem is like the thing I'm probably going to actually want to weirdly enough kill last. Outside of all of these bastions and iron golems. So the goal is going to kind of be to rush the ironclads. Preferably on a flank like this. I'm trying to get everyone around him right now so that we can get maximum advantage from his roar ability. Of course, I'm going to get hit with that big lava spell. But, uh, you know, sometimes you got to make a trade. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Actually, he can't cast that on the first turn of combat. So I have a brief moment to not get absolutely spanked. Little bit of insanity helped me out. They're just shield walling. Fifty percent damage on attacks, thirty percent chance of inflicting stunned for two rounds. Okay, that golden golem is buff right now. Interesting. The way he did that. All right, Caron, you're going to move here and you're going to Dragon Breath this whole crowd. You know what I should have before I moved in there? Cast Soul Overflow. We got we got knights on this side.
Bonk. Had to give that a shot. You're out of range. Okay. Oof. Tankier boys than I'd like. Might actually be just best summoning some chaff right now to distract. I'm hoping by kind of like getting on top of these tanks that I can threaten them decently. Uh, this is my nice spear guy, which I'm really glad for. So I can actually have him just plug this entire hole. I think that's what I'll have him do. this way, but that's okay. They all got bolstered resistance for getting attacked by that breath weapon. Oh yeah, bolstering. up and I'm going to try to finger a death this guy. No, but a lot of damage. Now we get into the really gross counterattack. See what they got. I tried to keep our guys a little more spread off this time. This guy's moving. Ah, he went insane. That's very helpful. There's the lava. Oh no, a dust storm. Ooh, boom. Yikes. They all got some crazy AOE damage. Wow. If that dragon goes down, the fear is that he's going to get auto revved as a decaying zombie. This is actually kind of problematic. Potentially, at least. He's holding great. Sick. Age of Shadows screwed me. I really don't like that. I really don't like that you automatically lose your character. You have all these spells to like resurrect your guys and then you can't use them 
because your final spell brings them back to life like in that way like yeah that's kind of that's kind of stupid if i'm gonna be honest uh let's see let's see can't do a lot of anything there you fly in there You go for that. Have you finished them off? That way I can use you to cast. Oh, that's right. That's terrifying gorging. Yeah, we'll terrifying gorge a guy. I love that Reapers just get greater corpse consumption. Oh, yes. Finally, the game gives it to me instead of the computer. Roll a 19% on that finger of death, baby. Thank God. Uh, yeah, you might as well hit him with a regen dagger. Got to get rid of this ironclad. I think I'm just going to move my Reaper directly on top of him. Boost you. I just take the hit. And black. Okay. Getting somewhere. Finally, some good streamer luck. I got blind on him, so that's kind of nice. Uh, you know what? I might actually just be able to hit him with a spell. Ten and ten, fourteen. Ten and ten. Gets me a corpse out of it, too. Now the zombies should do their work. Oh, my dragon is taking so much damage. I mean, I think I could still cast Greater Resurrection on him, but... Pike Trooper is a legend. Okay, all right, all right. Ooh, okay.
You're dead. Assassinate. You're dead. Can you guys crushing despair? Curse the Reaper. You're dead. That guy's fleeing. He's managed to break his morale. You're dead. Still got lots of you to finish off though right now. Scream. I scream, you scream. We all scream for banshees. Finger death. All right. You go here, they can't escape. Float through and kill him. Let's have you cast Draining Blade. Interesting. Draining Blade actually heals you. It doesn't give you temporary HP, it does an actual full heal. Which I want to say is the only thing I've ever seen that does that. Finish these dweebs off. I figure if somebody's dead, I'm going to have a hard time finding him. So that'll either get all of them. Or we'll get a lot of undead corpses on the battlefield at the very least. Most of whom I assume act on their own. Maybe not. All right. You can gut him. You can gut him. Nice. Triple miss. I guess this is the thing that I could just say auto combat. But then it does things like try to make this dragon flee. And if that dragon flees... Yeah, see, it's just wasting all this time, like, healing people. And all I needed to do is just land a couple of kills. <laughs> just a few. Not even all that many. Can anybody reach this guy? friendly fire everyone to end the round uh so i lost the dragon and i lost a bone horror all right and he comes in with another 3,000 troops but only one mythic unit out of curiosity
I'm gonna take that. Which I know seems a little crazy, but I have enough to summon a couple bone dragons right now. And I should get those revives immediately. Sethi, hello. We're doing very well here. Current Chaos Necro. I have like 10 armies and a wall of flesh moving in unison. That's amazing. I love it. Bone Dorgon. Pretty much the only thing I'm going to make right now are Bone Dragons, I think. And I'm only getting one. Okay. Two Reapers and a Bone Dragon. Yeah, I'm definitely a little shy on Bone Dragons right now. Bone Wyverns? Do I bother? I guess we'll do that for us, and then we can go like... Um, Just have them join in with them. God, so many level ups. Yeah, I really, I honestly, I really like the new Necro stuff. It's pretty good. I wish they gave them a bit more stuff for late game. Like they gave them all these incredible tier one units, but they do tend to wear out pretty fast. Which feels like a bit of a shame. I gotta just try to start improving my armies here. New empire development skill. New magic origin units get plus three ranks. Do you think that counts for raised dead units? Because they're all magic origin. That would be very big if it does. Oh, okay. The bone dragon is not. But uh, the reaper is. The corrupted soul is. Banshees are. Bone horrors are. Why is a bone dragon not? <laughs> Some inconsistency with tags still. I find. You wish there was tier two skeletal support? Yeah. I mean, the necromancers are your tier two support though, right? And then once you make them whiteborn, they're, they're skeletons. Really, they're your support guys. Hope in the next DLC we can get Lost Mages to complement our Shadow Arcane armies. I suspect we'll get a lot of Arcane. I think because the next one is meant to be like Eldritch stuff. Um, so I suspect it's going to be mostly Arcane focused. And yeah, we'll probably get like one Shadow Tome. What's coming in here? That was in a thousand. Two Golden Golems. Current. are really just missing like frontliners uh he is making a play again here so i'm gonna have to pull some units out Just for safekeeping. Oh, 
Ooh, you have lots of good stuff. Motivating Quill, True Sight, Charm of Demolishing, Frostbringer, Thunder Warding. Okay. Helmets, cloaks, org mounts. You don't have a ring. Let's give you harder to hit with ranged attacks. Motivating Quill. I think he already has Demolisher, yeah. You already have Demolisher. You already have Demolisher. Okay. I need to focus on Reapers. Above all. Eldritch Realms, yes, yeah, I'm really excited. I, I, there's, there was some thought I heard from people. That's an interesting play. Um, that for the Eldritch Realms, they might even add like instead of like the underground, like an astral layer that you could go into. I don't really want to go into this with you, dude, and all of your banshees. But I guess. I'll get two dragons out of it. At this point, I'm like, if if I if I lose a dragon but get a dragon, it's a trade. It's a and it's a trade I'm more than willing to make. Let's just have them go in there for now. All right, so there's a couple guys coming from this way. That's an invasion force. Uh, it seems like we've managed to break those guys temporarily, at least. Uh, Boulder has fled back. I might actually just leave this army here. You know what? If I don't see anybody coming through here either, I, I'm, I'm, I, I could probably just leave all those guys. We got Flash Freeze. We could get Severing Golems. I think I'll pick up a Tower of True Sight. Just because it'll help me see whatever is coming in here. Strength training, war party, war party, war party, reapers. Uh, you're currently missing a unit, so let's just put a bone golem in there. Arcane Shadow, probably they've been doing hybrid tomes. We might get like eight tomes this time. Yeah, it's also like the final part, so it's their chance to like kind of like polish up season one and decide, you know, whether or not they choose to go for another season of the game. I highly suspect they will, but it's hard to say for certain. Astral Shadow seems like a perfect fit for an Eldritch theme. Yeah, I agree. Shadow's desperate need of some diversity. Since 70% is necromancy. Yep, yep, yep. And the Astral stuff has all of the... Um... Oh, nice. Dude just managed to take out two armies there. 
Uh, the Astral is all the magic origin units, which are all kind of like weirdly Eldric. So uh, I, I, it, it, to me, it makes the most sense. When one falls, two are risen, piles of bones and mounds of souls, clawing and wailing to release, seeking vengeance and penance for their unruly death. None can stop the scourging of this realm. Take at least 10 turns for the recover of the army. Perfect time to lay siege. Oh, there's no sieging. We're on pure defense at this point. We have another tome unlocked. This is wild. I mean, I could just get some advantages. You know what? We might as well. The darkness that creeps from shadow to shadow not only brings disquiet, but also carries the promise of your arrival. Dim the light of your enemy's spirits. Shroud them in dis... We might as well. You're gonna build a tower of true sight. You're gonna build a tower of true sight. Wait, are you gonna build a tower of true sight? I don't need you to build that. A doom death trench on the other hand though. Projected income, 44 mana. Sure. You could probably build one of them as well. My backup has arrived here. Oh, it doesn't have enough movement to really get up with everybody. Uh, all right. These guys don't look too bad. Okay, you have three bone dragons. Put one of them in there. For now? Uh, you know what? Take him out as well. We'll throw another Reaper in. Aha! My Dragon Claw is ready. So currently, I have a Dragon Claw. 1311. With a bunch of stuff. This will give me... No frost damage, but I'll do 32 melee damage. 20% crit hit. Weakened, Sundered Defense. And Construct Slayer. I think that's the better option. Considering that Constructs are clearly the bane of my existence right now. Do I have enough for camouflage? No, I need like two more turns. Oh my God, the Reapers are just slaughtering my Imperium. I suppose it makes sense. Hope we get at least one more leader type. Four is a great number to me. No more, no less. Open to see if they have more ideas. Oh, in terms of like support fighter mage. I don't know what else they would do. I mean, the, other than just like adding more types into those trees. Like more skills. I don't know they really need to like separate the way that they do that. No, this is good. Um, Tier fours. Perfect. Juicy. Uh, this one you're on your own, dude. And he still won it. Wow. Okay. So that's one thing about playing on brutal difficulty that I never thought about before 
And this is actually an extremely valuable note. Your vassals get the same auto resolve advantages as the computer does. Which means giving them, giving really good units to your vassals makes them like 40% stronger or 30% stronger probably um, than they are if you have them yourself. Well, I guess we're getting chilly. Oh, I don't love that look, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, necromancers just got sick mohawks is what happened. You know what? It's fine. What else do you get with Frostling? Immunity to Frozen, Morale on Cold Terrain, Frost Resistance, and Arctic Walk. I mean, it's truly a nothing spell for us. I'm just prepping spells. Sort of in the, like, I don't really need this right now department, but it'd be good to have on hand. Uh, oh, there isn't a Banshee in here. Or is there a Banshee in there? Ah, you know what? It's fine. More level ups on these dudes, which is only making their armies better and better, considering I've just been doing nothing but giving them like bolstered defense and stuff right now. These are free states that are attacking me, so they're not actually going to be any threat. Ha ha, ha ha, I see you. Okay. Address Sprocket. This guy's going to be golems. This guy's going to be golems for days. Vivarium, yes, okay. These guys aren't really much of real armies. Nothing is a threat immediately down here, no. I'm blocking the cave. And he is sending troops to me. All right. Really want to do reverently Frostling, get skulls with Rally and Flash Freeze before he attacks, essentially start the battle with maxed out morale. It gives you some pretty good advantages. Um, being able to sap their strength really quickly is also like a vicious turnaround. That's fault lost. That's okay. Uh, interesting. So he's decided to just like stand around this entrance. He's not actually coming downstairs. Corruption rules the city of Skullkeep. People governed by crooked guards and fraudulent guild masters. Uh. Yeah, I just blocked the growth. Truly doesn't matter, so. 
throw a few more bodies in the crypt. And we're clear. No, one thing I've not been keeping an eye on is nobody is attacking me here. But I guess they don't know that this city exists. And this is the one thing I have to try to keep remembering. Technically, nobody knows about this city. Mm, let's actually take Inspiring Leader. Trying to get some of my costs down, even though we make so much mana, it doesn't really matter. Remains captured. Execute. One more turn and we go invisible. He's got another army marching its way down. We have six turns left to survive. They're probably one, two, maybe three turns away max. Uh, interesting. Okay. So Pink has decided now to start teleporting over here and approach me from the waterway, knowing that I can't get through the caves. And he still has a big army on those caves, though. Who? I wonder if I could hit this with the frost spell. You damaged all those armies. Slow them down a whole bunch. Flash freeze. Target not visible. Spells blocked by spell jammer. And you might be thinking, Agent, this is a weird choice to flash freeze. But it's because they've tried to sneak people through here before, so that's going to slow them down a little bit. Well, I think we just hold. I have another Reaper ready. Let's take Universal Camouflage. Okay, I have a couple of Banshees here that at the very least should be in these armies. support guys with the double necros. Because the corrupt soul I'll get rid of here. Or switch over at least. We now make a zero Imperium. All right, last five turns. Can we hold the line? One assault, two assaults, third assault. Oh my god.
They are pushing a lot of troops. Ah, lame. Like, I guess I should start freezing these provinces. Should I freeze a Verdant Vivarium? I guess I could freeze that. Not sure that did anything other than a little bit of damage. Amazing. So many golden golems. Um, uh, I mean, technically he's moved away from this right now, but I think I'd be really foolish to step away from this wall. What do we got? I shall just keep charging up these. What worries me is that they can get here in one turn, which means they can get there in two turns. Am I better off of fighting them at sea? Right, I have a lot of flying characters, but they don't really get bonuses to aquatics. Come in a quick save. I'd like to punch these guys out. So that we're in a slightly safer spot. Uh, I suppose what I could do is actually swap you. No, see, it's not dragging in all my units. I, I don't know if it's because he's mounted or, or how this calculates. Uh, I think I'm just going to wait. Let them launch the attack. Hope they don't just nuke my spell jammer. Yeah, he's rushing the point. They're rushing the city. Okay, that's kind of interesting. My guys throw his troops upon the walls. Soften them up for me. And then I can absolutely take the easy chunks and split their army this way. No dragons. Cruel weaponry. 
Unlocked. Which I suppose I might as well cast right away. Doesn't afflict a lot of people, but it does hit some. All right, they're technically one more turn away here. But we can dunk these guys here as well. And I think get some dragons out of it. Very good. Four dragons. That is what I am talking about, baby. We're not overly wounded. My only fear is like they could reach this in a single turn. I guess I know they can't get this in one turn. So why don't I hold like one more minute? Because I can teleport and get on top of that altar. Flash freeze that. Just do some fast damage to them. Hold my heels. Food shortage at Charred Spur. Sure, we're eating everybody here. Everybody into the corpse pit. We're making 250 mana from the crypt right now. We are being pillaged, but I'm not really concerned about that. Negative 12 Imperium. Does that do anything bad? I guess all these dragons have upkeep. Couple more coming in from the north. These guys are heading west. Those guys pulled back north. Okay. Gotta try to slow them down. Uh, sure. Now I have more dragons to dole out. Dragons, 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 reapers. Dragons and fogs and reapers. Reapers and dragons, reapers and dragons. All right. I'm okay with this. Just in case. Let's hide them there. Power a true sight. I might actually rush that. 
500 bucks? Let's rush that. So now I can see very far, which is fun because I could actually start flash freezing this teleporter. Skull keep. Uh, you're fine. Units with low morale, 18. Army morale low. Reaper, Bone Dragon, and Living Fog. I see. It's the negative Imperium causing that. I gotta get rid of two dragons. No, I gotta get rid of more than that. I need to get rid of four units. <laughs> Excuse me. Womp womp. Alright, we'll reinforce next turn. Negative Imperium, indeed a problem. These guys just fled back, okay. They burned down a conduit, left. They won't even make that in time I think we're good oh I forget ooh earth shaper arctic's frost here old we'll add him to the pool why not Frostfire causes all of my units to freeze people in combat. Spell jammered. Keep forgetting about the spell jammers. Uh, you guys are good. You can rebuild. Okay, that's it. I believe that's game. Ooh, famous. Oh, they look really good underground. This one free city comes to the rescue. Oh, sorry, Bila Zakiva. Bada bing. Win the game as a dragon lord. This is my first dragon win. I can't believe that. Hell yeah. Age of Shadow Victory, turn 131. Your people watch in awe as you call upon unending armies of frost and undead an eternity of cold and death awaits the realm as you call forth the age of shadow well done eternal lord confetti for all confetti for everybody this dragon looks baller doesn't he he looks so good i love that we actually just like ran entire undead armies as well 
outside of the necromancers who were technically undead because they were whiteboard. All right. Hell yeah. Uh, my capital never got discovered. The entire game, I managed to keep Skull Keep completely hidden from the entire map. Which I gotta say is a bit of a feat on its own. Ba -da -da, ba -da 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 -da. What a weird campaign. Pinnacle to the north getting wiped out. Whoa. All right. So we can actually look at this without the confetti on. So they spawned there and here were capitals all around these two ancient wonders. Those guys were top left corner of the map. They had a really interesting start. These guys were kind of centrally located. Can I look at the top? Bronze Gate. The only surface dwelling faction, Bronze Gate, up here, Vettenberg, and Olmach. Okay, now, like that's. I think that's pretty much it for me when it term when it comes to like I, I I'm gonna have to make a bunch of factions to play this game anymore because right now it's like every single faction takes underground adaptation to an unreasonable amount. One, two, three, four, five factions plus myself six versus three. It should be the other way around. Uh, there does seem to be a glitch with this because tunneling spider. I saw people with tunneling spider and underground adaptation as well, which is like a trait glitch. But this was a pretty good map. Obviously, we got kind of lucky in our spawns in that we managed to like lay down our roots for ancient wonders very early. Things I would have done differently in this campaign. I think making, ins I went to war against this guy. I should have just went to war against her early on. She decided to be my friend and try to appease me really early. And I should have realized that's a sign of weakness. I am a dragon. And I should have attacked her here and here. Because if she had her capital there and she had this as a, as a, like a vassal state, she would have been able to hold my front line pretty effectively, I think. And then all I really would have had to worry about was this one outpost. And of course the sea lanes, right? But she would have guarded a little bit on the sea lanes. And if I had taken there, if I had taken that, then I could have actually just made a push against Geyser Rock. Bronze Gate, huge issue. But overall, still a victory. It's still a win. Charon, Hoarder of Bones. I would love it if I could get this visual without the title. He's so big. I can't even get a reasonable screenshot. We'll try. We'll see how that works. The conquest of the realm has given him a chance to ascend to the Pantheon. Will you grant Charon, Hoarder of Bones, his ascension? Of course. An ascension trait. So many options. Death caller. Disruptor. Spirit breaker. Summoner. Cryomancer. I mean, I know Bone Daddy has death caller, but does seem like it's the right choice, doesn't it? He is just a giant Draco Lich. Might be a horrible future, but at least this Lord achieved what he promised, and I think that's special. I think so, too. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Five levels. Wow, you know why that is? Because we unlocked an insane amount of tomes. And heroes gaining levels. Got a 700. We gained 70 levels. That double XP from Shadow is, I would maybe argue, the strongest Imperium trait in the game. I think I actually would argue that that's the strongest Imperium trait in the game. Normally, I struggle to get characters to level 16. This time, I had multiple characters at level 20.
It's worth a lot. It's worth a heck of a lot. He is a big boy. We do have some rewards. I'm going to unlock this hat. I have four rewards left. I could just get all the panther mounts, all the mounts. I have everything else, right? Oh, I don't have the veterans pike. I got to get that first. Rules are rules. And those rules, they do be rules. We also do get this sick pirate banner icon, which I'm not going to lie is a pretty good one. All right, I'll save the other points for now. And we'll decide them next time we go. Oh, goodness. I'm so pleased. I'm glad we managed to punch him through all the way. A 6-1. Very similar to Bone Daddy. Somehow we ended up with a higher shadow affinity. 5-1 versus 6-1. But, um... He's also a much newer hero with all the DLC. I'm glad Bone Daddy got to join us on that as well. My dudes, thank you for joining us. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you for joining us for our Charon Draco Lich campaign. We are going to be back with Millennia, I think, after this for a little bit. But I do have a few other Age of Wonders campaigns I want to do. So they may come in the coming month. We're going to have to see. But in the meantime, thank you for joining us.